we're back again today today we will show you one of my other old boats that we dug out for everyone to play with this is the all wood sterling model of the 19 foot racing runabout typically a Chris Craft boat it's basically one eighth scale and again it was all wood with mahogany planking you can see over the years that uh, the white stripes have kind of yellowed and the windshield is really yellowed so that hopefully I can replace but the striping there is no way I can redo that without stripping everything off and revarnishing it so we're not going to do that so let's give you a quick tour of the inside of the boat so you can see it with the seats out and the engine hatch off you can see now the electronics the motor it's a electric 540 motor and then I can show you some more of the electronics here so here we are with the inside. Here's the old uh, three-step mechanical speed controller. Basically, I had three speeds. Uh, the AA batteries for the servos for the receiver are in the green balloon. Over here under the pink balloon, or in the pink balloon, is the actual receiver. Servo for the speed is over here, and then down under here, which obviously you can't see very well, except for there's the arm, is the steering servo. The steering servo runs down the side of the hull to the back where the linkages are for the rudder. Over here, again, you can't really see it, but you can see the wires running to it. Because this speed controller is the old mechanical style speed control and it doesn't have resistors built into it, that actually has a separate resistor mounted in the back. Pull out the prop shaft and re-grease that. We had to take out the rudder and basically grease that stuffing tube. And then we found that we were actually taking on water. There's a crack, or not a crack, but there's a seam right along the, the stern where the bottom and the sides meet. And when we put it in the bathtub for the first time to see if it would take on water, it took on water. So I had to uh, take some silicone caulk and seal that area up. Aside from that, everything worked. Um, so, Next step is to take it out and run it. I built this boat sometime around 1994, maybe 1995. Uh, and again, the last time I saw water was, I don't know, sometime shortly after that. Didn't run very often. Used to take on water quite a bit. Uh, but like I say, I think I've got that sealed up. So we're gonna take it out and see if it still runs after yeah, 20 some years. Okay, we're gonna try the Sterling Models runabout here for the first time. Okay, turn around. Okay, get it closer to the shore and then go up one more speed step. Go ahead. Okay, slower on the turns, please. Here we go. We got the candy, the runabout, and the rivos. Now, hopefully, we don't run into each other. Okay, go.
bring it in nice and close.